Hi my beautiful Cancerians, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Angel Love 333, I hope everybody is doing well, healthy, safe, enjoying uh, the summer, for those of you that it is the summer, so we're just going to see what energy comes through here for you Cancer, Leo season, a lot of you may have Leo in your chart, I always feel for Cancerians, I don't know, Leo season is just a really important month. So with that, Cancer, let's see what energy comes in for you. Oh my gosh, Cancer, I could feel it. I could feel it. <laughs> Look, a card came out. The sun card. This is Leo energy. I just said Leo season is important for Cancerians. Oh my gosh. It's a number one, too. So there's something, I feel like there's some sort of new beginning happening in your life, Cancer, during uh, Leo season. I said important month here, okay? Oh my gosh, okay, we got the fourth chakra, number 38, which is one. Some of you are seeing repeating ones. If not, you're going to start seeing repeating ones. This is the heart chakra. Something's happening for you, I feel, in love. Yep, look at number three. This is the garden and the gate. It's an energy of something new is about to begin. And some of you, it may be you have new ideas. There may be some changes you're making in your life. You know, it doesn't have to be specific to love, but, but because we have this uh, fourth chakra, the heart chakra there, definitely strong energy there. Let's get one more. I feel like we need one more. What else does Cancer need to know? What else does Cancer need to know? Okay, interesting. Okay, we got famous Sagittarius energy. But we have number 16, which equals 7. It's the Patience card. I feel like some of you have definitely been some through some challenges, and I feel like this energy is specific to love. But I also get this energy that there has been some time that has passed in your love situation, and I see an energy of you're being prepared. I feel like you're being prepared for a union with somebody when it comes to love. Now, it could be you being prepared for some other big change in your life that is happening. That is definitely that energy. But I feel there's the birth of something new that's going to happen in Leo season. And with the sun card, it's bringing you a lot of happiness. Okay, look what's on the bottom of the deck. And I just said movement. Number 17, which is eight, which is action. This is movement, charging forward. Okay, this is also, uh, for me, this is also Cancerian energy. And I'm going to say here too, number eight for me is possibilities. I feel like you're going to see new possibilities. You have a black and white horse here. Okay, some of you are closing out some sort of cycle, I feel, with that black horse. Okay, you're leaving behind. Maybe it's negative thoughts. Maybe it's negative ideas. <laughs> I don't know about a negative idea, but negative thoughts. Okay, or closing out a chapter that's just done for you. And it could be in any area of your life. It doesn't uh, necessarily mean it's uh, in love. You know, I'm just going to say, for example, if you are... You, you know, making some sort of change. Maybe you want to move to another location and just start over. It can be that energy too. But there's some sort of big, I feel here, significant change that's happening in your life. And look at this. You have the journey. And some of you, it just may be the idea of, it may be you in a place in your life where you're like, it's time for me to take a new path. So I'm definitely feeling too, it could be the decision of, because with this garden and the gate energy, it's, you can see this person's behind the gate. They're kind of pottering, uh, pondering, uh, I always said pottering, <laughs> but I meant to say pondering. They're kind of pondering. Okay. They're thinking about it. There may even be some hesitation there, but I feel like too, this is something you've been thinking about for some time for most of you. All right. And I feel like with the 17 here, number eight, there are going to be some new possibilities that are going to open up for you. And that's where it's going to take you on this journey. 
okay, where you have to make a decision. I feel like some of you too, with this action card, and you also have the broken heart, strong energy there. There you are, Cancer. This is, uh, I forgot, the woman holding a heart. <laughs> woman holding a heart. Okay, so I feel like Cancer, you have definitely gone through some healing. You got repeating fours, which is also a number eight. And you got a nine, okay? Nines for me are about destiny and also closing out a cycle. So some of you are starting to move towards a new chapter in your life. And look at this. It's very abundant. You have here, I'm actually just going to move these cards. This is, this is upcoming energy. You have door to value, okay? Something's opening up for you, some sort of opportunity. Some of you could be an opportunity to make money. Some of you may be very focused on your money and career right now. So this could tell me that um, money is looking good for you. It's an, um, a number four too. So we have repeating fours. I'm seeing more than one eight, more than one four, and more than one one. Those are going to be numbers that are going to be important to you. So uh, when you see those numbers, it's going to be a validation. Look at this. You also have your man holding a coin. Okay. See? Either something is changing with your life financially, and for others, I just feel, um, you know, this could even be a new person coming into your life. Okay. A Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. This is someone too, if this is love for you, this is somebody who is, um, I feel going to value you. It's a love offer here. Look at this door to personal healing and happiness. See, there's a door opening the garden and the gate. I said, there's that gates, um, about to open for you here with woman holding a, a coin, your, uh, your energy and look personal healing and happiness look at that beautiful rainbow something's changing in your life cancer that's bringing you a lot of peace i love it i love it and i feel like there was some sort of loss in your life and it doesn't have to be a breakup with a love situation it could be losing a loved one um, some of you it could be you've been healing from some sort of health issue but your next card here is, I love it, number 35. I'm not the first card, the next card. First chakra, Archangel Michael, okay? This is a protection energy, but also it's also another number eight. And this is the root chakra. This is stability, security, and you're not going to believe what the next card is. Door to romance. See? Door, look at that. You have door to value and door to romance. Okay, some of you, I feel like money, career, it's also repeating threes. I feel like some of you are going to see a lot of changes or opportunities opening up for you that are going to lead you towards um, a stable future money-wise. Now, this could be a wealthy person here with this. It's a man holding a coin, but I'm going to say it's a wealthy person. So some of you could be meeting somebody who does very well for themselves, is wealthy. Others, you know, I'm going to say, I feel like this is your energy too. Like uh, opportunities are open up for you both in love and in money. Okay, so you may see uh, more romantic energy during Leo season. It's right here with Leo season. Movement, okay. Look at this. You also have repeating twos here. This is the yin-yang energy wow this could be twin flame but it doesn't have to be okay yin yang can talk about you know i'm gonna say finding your other pa partner finding someone who uh complements your energy okay you know your other half here that's interesting repeating threes repeating twos we also have here repeating fours and look at that repeating ones i i just can't believe this cancer this is this is cornucopia this is, you know, like the happily ever after. You know, for me, this is kind of like that four wands energy. Look at that. Repeating ones, repeating twos, repeating threes. I can't make this up. Okay. Cornucopia. Something new. You're giving birth to, I'm, I'm just going to say, I feel like you're giving birth to a new life here where there's a lot of peace, a lot of happiness, stability. 
I'm going to say some of you, it may be you're making some sort of big change in your life. And this is what's manifesting. I'm also hearing like this is what's brewing, right? I'm going to pull one more card to finish this off. Look at that. Another number 29, which is 11. A lot of uh, repeating ones here. The world card. And I said it. I said a new chapter in your life. Love it, Cancer. Oh my gosh. But look at this. Some time has passed for you, I feel, to recover from some sort of loss in your life, okay? And now it's time for that stability, that security here. There's a new chapter in your life, and this is like that um, feeling on top of the world energy. And this is success around the corner. So whatever your goals are, Cancer, whatever you are trying to manifest, I feel you are manifesting like this new life here. So I'm going to pull some tarot now. We're going to see what else comes through for you. I just can't believe this energy for you, Cancer. Doors are opening. And I feel it's, it's really more so um, the theme I get here is, is stability and security in your life. And, and I feel it's with a partner. And I also feel here uh, money looks good for you, okay? So there's something here about movement. And some of you, I feel like there is a home move here in your future or the idea of it. All right, well, let's see what else comes through for you, Cancer. I remember vaguely because I do so many readings that recently we did a reading for you. Maybe it was your August reading. You may want to check it out. There was definitely something around home. Okay, like repeating cards came up with home. So, you know, whether it's a move, buying or purchasing a home, okay, or, or living with somebody, but I just remember there was a theme of a home. So let's see what else uh, the tarot has to say for you, Cancer. What else does Cancer need to know? Got a King of Wands energy. Could be a, um, a fire sign, can uh, why am I saying Cancer? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Remember what I said, this famous Sagittarius energy. We also have here Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The fourth chakra could even be a water sign, but I feel like that's more about you. Archangel Raphael is a very healing energy. Look at that. Ace of Swords. Yep, see? Some sort of fresh start here, but let's keep going. Got the seven of wands. This card's popping out here. We have the eight of pentacles. Eight of wands. Two eights there. We, we keep seeing eights here in your reading. Two of wands. Seven of cups. And you also have here the Three of Cups. Okay, let's go through this. King of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Interesting. See, somebody's coming into your life. Okay, definitely shows me here a, somebody, a fire sign, somebody coming towards you. Okay, remember I said somebody I feel here that is coming into your life. There's definitely movement here. Somebody who is going to pursue you, this King of Wands, um, you know, I say the King of Wands always gets a bad rap, but the King of Wands is somebody who is dependable, reliable, somebody usually who has goals in their life. Somebody here, I feel, has been thinking about you because you also have here the Two of Wands. Somebody has been thinking about you. Now, I'm just going to say, if love doesn't resonate for you, can also, I'm going to read this as love, these cards, but... Some of you, this could just be you taking action and making plans in your life, but I'm going to clarify this Eight of Wands energy because it's a fast-moving energy. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands. It can't even be communication coming from a distance or somebody um, where there has been distance, but oh my gosh, look at your first card that came out. You have love stories communicating and seeing what needs to be said. Truth talk. Okay, 
So you're going to get some communication from somebody. It does feel like whoever this is, take it how it resonates because all of you are going to be in a different place in your love life. But there's somebody here who is coming to you with some sort of truth. Let's pull another card. What else uh, does Cancer need to know about this Eight of Wands? Now, it could tell me it's somebody honest. Um, I'm going to say it could be somebody that you've given tough love to as well. And I'm going to say here, if, you, if love, romantic love does not resonate, it could be somebody else in your life that you care about. Okay, you got in depth. Connecting on a deeper level or complex feelings. Okay, this is somebody coming to you quite heartfelt. So it could be somebody who already, already has feelings for you or it's somebody who wants to build that deeper bond with you. So I'm already pulling this person in your energy. Either you're going to meet this person or this is somebody that you know. Okay, now you have the Ace of Swords and the Two of Wands. So let's see what this energy is. You know, this is also a card of communication. Someone who is, uh, I feel, coming towards you who is going to be assertive. So tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Oh, I love this card. It's called the Warm Brew. It says, speak softly to disarm any dispute or confusion. Again, it's a card of honesty. Um, it's also important, like vital uh, information, and it's also somebody who is patient. Okay, so whoever this is is coming towards you. They are somebody who is patient. So if you have a past person and they're not patient, then it's not this. It's not a past person. Okay, but this is somebody I feel they're very. I feel a gentle soul here. I feel somebody who is honest. Um, I'm just like getting chills, Cancer. <laughs> Oh my God, and I feel like this person is romantic. Romantic, oh my gosh. So I feel like you're gonna be communicating, Cancer, with someone in Leo season who has this energy. Look at this, you also have your loyalty, standing by each other through thick and, and thin. This is somebody who's gonna be devoted to you, Cancer. Somebody who's going to be devoted. And look what's on the bottom of the deck here. You have fine romance, caught up in the whirlwind of emotions and promises. Somebody who is very, very attracted to you. Okay, I'm seeing an engagement ring here. They do have a bit of an air of mystery. I must say, Cancer, I'm picking up this person. Could be a little bit... Uh, mysterious, um, uh, you know, their type of energy. Um, and if it's a Sagittarius, that definitely could resonate with a Sagittarius. Okay, tell me more about the Two of Wands. Tell me more about the Two of Wands. Okay, so we've got the flying high here. So this could be somebody, okay, this is starry eyed and this is passion. So this could be uh, somebody who is coming towards you, somebody who, I'm going to say it can also be an energy of somebody who is infatuated with you, right? So not that they're, this is someone infatuated with you now. Some of you, it will be. Some of you, this is going to be somebody that you meet and they're going to feel very passionate and infatuated with you oh my gosh let's get another one with this two of wands but this is someone i feel whoever this is coming towards you they are someone who seriously is going to be thinking about the future with you same thing with the king of wands you know i always say that king of wands sits on his throne and he contemplates all right we also have here perfect moves okay so keep the spirit of play and fun alive to be closer. Okay, so this is somebody who is flirty, graceful, and their energy is like easygoing. Okay, so I feel like this is someone coming into your life. They're going to keep things fun. They're going to keep that passion alive. Oh my gosh, Cancer. I just cannot believe this energy, whoever this is. You have harmony, being in tune with each other and getting along, good rapport and easygoing. See, I feel like you got a connection here, whoever this is. 
it's going to be a good flowing easy energy okay now i am seeing a seven of wands and a seven of cups okay now relationships don't uh you know they come with challenge uh, they come with challenges but we're going to see what this energy is but look at your next card is you have the love song let let love's melody inspire your dance together this is definitely peace and harmony i feel like you and this person are going to be really in sync with each other i love it cancer let's go to your next two cards now you have the seven of wands and you have the seven of cups you got the seven here, a seven right here too. Door to personal healing and happiness, okay? I feel like cancer, you know, I do see this heartbreak here. I see hesitation up here. You're going to be hesitant about this person. And this energy shows me too. I feel like... Many of you have gone through definitely some challenges in love, you know, and I feel like because of that, you know, you may be up in your emotions a little bit about this person, about where things are going, all right? But I want to clarify, I'm going to clarify these two together, the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. It could be a challenge, but it could also be a good thing because the Seven of Wands can tell me that you're going to overcome any confusion that you're feeling, you know, or uncertainty. But tell me more about the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Could tell me you have other options too, but yeah, it's exactly what I was thinking here look at this time heals be patient and give time a chance to work its magic okay we got another honest reliable and mature energy so whoever this is this person is mature okay they are reliable i've already said that we've already seen that energy and they're honest okay but i feel like you're going to have hesitation and i feel like it's going to go back to maybe some emotions resurfacing from your past okay past connections that you've had whether you feel this is somebody from your past I'm, I'm gonna say cancer i feel like for a lot of you this is a newer energy but if it resonates with you with somebody um from your past or maybe it's a new energy you're already seeing this person like i said everybody's in a different place then you know take it how it resonates but i feel for a lot of you this is a new energy and i feel like with this new person it might feel different and you know it's new and you and you're automatically i feel cancer some of you are going to are going to question it okay but what this shows me you're going to break free from this this confusion it says getting out of a situation or being on your own now freedom and independence okay some of you may even be in a place that why you question it is because you know um you want your independence you want your freedom okay and some of you may feel a little bit confused here in this connection for whatever reason or uncertain and i feel like it goes back to so this can also be like a trapped in your thoughts type of energy now look at this you have tenderness having a gentle spirit and being able to care deeply the real deal and a good match Okay, so some of you may question this connection of whether this person is a good match for you. They're the real deal. That's what I feel like you're going to be in your head about. And that's where the, the hesitation comes from. But I feel like, too, the emotional part stems from past hurts. Okay, um, I feel like this feels like a really good energy. Remember, you have the, the cornucopia card. Now, look at this. You have the eight of pentacles. And you also have here the Three of Cups. I said here with the Patience card that this is union. This time, okay, this time of your healing, or maybe for some of you not being in a, uh, a relationship, you have been preparing for this union in your life, okay, which is a beautiful thing. So let's clarify. I want to clarify this Eight of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles. Mm.
Okay. So you got back and forth energy. See, again, I just pick up, this is an uncertainty. I feel like when you meet this person, it's like, you don't know if you want to put in the effort is strongly what I'm getting here. But I feel this person's going to prefer, uh, pursue you. This person's going to make the effort. You have um, this energy of having fun. Okay. Now. It's interesting because it says having a brief affair or a rocky relationship and you also have your love's wing which says put aside differences and soar to the next level i feel like you just have this uncertainty and maybe it stems from past connections it's like you don't know if you want to put in the work because it's almost and i'm just going to say cancer for some of you be careful because some of you because of your uncertainty maybe you have dealt with past connections where people you know you know things never progressed to something long term because maybe it was like a brief affair or a casual connection you know someone couldn't commit some of you it could be somebody coming back around just going to say i do pick up that energy too this could be somebody that's been kind of an on and off, back and forth energy. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is just your fears. Okay, fears of what could happen. But this is what I'm seeing here. You have uh, Enchanted Whisper, listen to your heart and take a chance. Okay, I feel like, Cancer, you're being guided to take a chance on this person. Okay, because it's got, it's promising. Okay, there's promise here. You can see two people who are embracing each other and you also have your free flight. Give one another space to grow individually, okay? This is uh, breathe and clear energy. And look, there's two butterflies here, okay? Give time for this to grow between you and this person before automatically saying, I don't know if this is going to work out. I don't know. You know, it's almost like, you know, you're triggered by past emotions of situations that didn't work out for you. I feel like they're saying, just let it grow, go with the flow and see what happens because I see a lot of good things happening. Um, and the start of it is in Leo season. Okay. So with that, I am going to pull um, some more oracles and see what else comes out for you, Counselor. I feel this is a beautiful reading, right? Just let it unfold, okay? Because if it's something that you have to force, it's probably not going to happen for you, okay? Let it flow, let it go, right? Surrender, because I see doors opening up for you, Counselor. And whatever endeavors you have, or the ideas you have in August are going to blossom and they're going to bloom naturally. Okay, you have to still do the work, but it's going to, I feel a lot of abundance is coming your way. Oh my gosh, look at this. You have divine vision. This is positive focus and look deeper. Get out of your own way. Oh my gosh, Cancer, that's what I was just talking about. Get out of your own way. Discard your projected outcomes and allow yourself to see beyond okay i was just talking about that definitely just talking about that getting chills again <laughs> oh my gosh you also have your cleverness carefully craft your next move to use the problem to your advantage your cleverness will serve you well Okay, so this is definitely a quick-witted energy and a skillful energy. So if this is, um, you feel this is around money and career for you, it's like really uh, hone in on your skills, okay? And also your ideas. It's also a crafty energy, okay? Creative energy. Let's get another one. Okay, you have here alchemy. The path you're on is about to go through a very powerful transformation. This is a transition, this is changing, and this is a shift, yes. And, at, you know, here is the shift energy with that Eight of Wands energy. Something is about to gain momentum in your life, and it's bringing about powerful change changes. Let's see what else. You have middle of the road. Careful not to get too trapped between the extremes. Find the middle ground. Okay, so this could talk about compromise. It could talk about kind of being neutral. It's that energy of kind of being, you know, flexible, surrendering, letting go. Okay, um, 
and I'm going to leave you with this final message. It says, sacred travel traveler, there is an upcoming opportunity for you to move. Oh my gosh, or travel. Enjoy this new adventure, journey, movement, and trip. See, something is about to take off in your life, Cancer. And that's what I'm seeing here in your reading. Beautiful reading for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.